Hello everyone, I am Shwan Kumar from third year CSEC of AC Engineering College. In the event that our college conducted Pongal Gaming Context, I and my team members Vamshi and Shawani has created a game called Tiles Game. So this is the code. I have imported the modules Pygame and Pickle. Pygame module is used for the create the games in the Python. It's an inbuilt module. I have imported it. And I also set the FPS as 60. I am also starting the function. I am also setting the game window size here, setting the screen width and screen height, giving the display as level editor so you can see is here. I am also importing certain images as the tiles here. I will show you them. So these are the images that I am gonna import into my game. This is how the uh, character moves. These are the images that I am gonna use in my game. So I am also defining the colors here, setting the pant as Futura and also creating the empty tile list, setting the boundaries for the game. This is where I am gonna create my game. So if I am gonna click the, uh, on the screen once, so I am gonna create a dirt blocks. If I am gonna click on the screen twice, I am gonna create a grass blocks. If I am gonna click on the screen thrice, I am gonna create the enemy blocks. So it follows as this, as you can see here. So when I click on 8 times, I'm going to create a exit option so that I can move to the next level. So this is where I'm going to create a class call button in which I'm going to set the actions for the mouse depending on the number of clicks. So these are the uh, load and save buttons. This is where I'm going to start the game. I'm just running it in a while loop. This is where I'm going to load and save the levels. This piece of code shows the which level I'm there. These are the event handlers. Depending on the mouse button up or down, mouse getting pressed. So moving it up, key down, key up. So whenever I complete and click on the exit button, the game is gonna exit. Now let me show you the application. So when you fall on this lava, you will be died. So you have to restart the game. So when you get into that cave, you will be redirected to the next level. When you hit the space button, you are gonna jump. So this is the application that I and my team have created. Thank you. Let's dig into the code. There are two files. One is the fighter.py and another is main.py. I have created a game named as do or die which is here and uh, is basically like a shadow fight game and for this I have written a two .py files in the first file we are importing pygame package which is used for creating the frame and used for creating games and two more uh, models then uh, initiating then uh, 1000 pixels for the screen width and 600 pixels for the height and this screen width and screen height I am creating the frame then giving the name as do or die then setting the frame rate fps then defining colors to the variable it will be easy for use then defining the game variables then defining the fighter variables this you will understand when you see the game so these are the codes for that variables and uh, i have created a directory like this i have created a directory shadow fight folder in which i have kept my two files and an assets folder in this assets folder, I have images folder separately, fonts folder separately, audio folder separately. In this images folder, also background icon warrior wizard. In this warrior folder and wizard folder will be having the sprites used for the characters. So from that directory, I am loading the music. This is musics and audios, sword and uh, magic wave and the background music. And then loading the background image, then sprites, warrior and wizard sprites. Then we'll go for defining the animation steps according to our sprite. Different sprites will have different animation steps. Then giving font as turok.ttf. It is a file in my folder font. So you can see fonts turok.ttf. My font is like this. This is also used in my program, my game. For drawing the text, I've used a function inserting the background, then health bars. Then two instances of fighters creating two fighters. Then run is equal to two while run. We'll 
while true the game will be opened until we cut or that run variable becomes false so we are starting with the frame rate then the drawing the background each time we calling the draw background function which is written above health bar initially that red health bar above that a green health bar we have the countdowns like moving fighters then count timer and update the fighters what action they are performing this all dot draw method dot update method are written in the fighter dot py file check for player defeat if player is defeated so display that who got points the opposite who won will get a point similarly event handler this event handler is for when we click the x button the game should quit at the end we will display the update and at last we will be quitting and in the fighter dot py file we have written class fighter we have taken definite that constructor we are setting the variables when the what key is pressed what action should be performed everything is written in this fighter.py file similarly anime health update is used for updating the score and as well as the health bar similarly this fighter.py file is written now let's see the output when i run the program we will get the output so this is the game we can move the warrior by clicking a and d and jump by w and when we click on jump it coming down due to gravity similarly for the wizard wizard is move using arrows then when click on r and t and 1 and 2 warrior 1 and the point is reflected as 1 thank you